Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We are from the group 2 and we are going to present about halal production in medical. The study is titled Halal Production in Medical and the Issue of COVID-19 Vaccine. The primary goal of this study is to examine the requirements of laws and regulations and to know whether the COVID-19 vaccine is safe or not for human beings and is it halal for Muslim getting it. The methodology of this study is by surfing the internet to get the appropriate information through a website that can be trusted for uh, the authenticity to avoid the plagiarism. The findings shows that Muslims are permitted to take non-halal medications if it is connected to a person's life and the vaccine used in this situation shouldn't have side effects that are worse than the effects of the disease it was intended to prevent. So what is halal production? Halal production is uh, in the medical industry refers to the production and distribution of medical items like gadgets and services that adhere to Islamic law principles and rules. Halal production in the medical business uh, ensure that healthcare products and services meet the requirement of both medical, efficiency and Islamic principles. Pharmaceuticals, medical gadgets, vaccines, uh, surgical uh, equipment and healthcare services are all examples of halal production in the medical professions. So to ensure the compliance uh, with the Islamic values, it covers a variety of issues including searching, uh, production uh, procedures, ingredients, labeling and distribution. The choice of permitted components is one of the important issues in halal medical product development. Pharmaceutical uh, formulations, medical devices and other healthcare products must be purchased from halal certified vendors according to manufacturers. Raw materials, excipients, active pharmaceutical substances and any additive or preservative used in the manufacturing process are all included. Halal manufacturing addresses ethical difficulties in medical industry, particularly in the context of research, clinical trials, and healthcare services. Islamic teachings uh, advocate for the preservation of human life and to pursuit of happiness. As a result, medical research and clinical trials must follow ethical guidelines to ensure informed consent, privacy, and participant well-being. In the medical area, halal production involves a variety of factors including ingredient searching, manufacturing procedures, research ethics and healthcare services. Medical manufacturers and healthcare professionals hope to deliver products and services that meet the needs of both medical efficiency and religious conformity by adhering to Islamic principles and rules. This guarantees that those seeking medical treatment have access to halal certified uh, solutions that are compatible with the religious and ethical views. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Cica Nofia Binti Muhlisin. I will continue the presentation with discussion and finding. I will talk about the opinion of scholar about halal medical. There are two opinions about medical that contains non-halal ingredient, which is first, is it not permissible to use, and the other one, is it permissible? Scholar says using medicine that contain non-halal ingredients such as pigs and alcohols is not permissible, as it clearly stated in Al Quran. They ask you about wine and gambling say in them is a great sin and yet some benefit for people but their sin is greater than their benefit and they ask you what they should spend say the excess beyond needs those I will make clear to you the verses of re revelation that you might give thought alcohol not only make the consumer be drunk it also toxicated to the body Consuming anything that contains pig or any other animal that did not slather using Islamic way may lead to harm to the consumer body because it can produce bacteria that may be bad for the body. 
Next is permissible opinion. Using medicine with non-halal ingredients is permissible as they need to value their health and body. This is because our body is something that is trusted by Allah. So we need to take care of our body. Schooler says that using medicine that contain non-halal ingredient is permissible as long as it only used when in emergency situation where the consumer life might be in dangerous. Using medicine which contain only a low percentage of alcohol is permissible as it will not make the consumer be drunk. But if the percentage is higher, it will be best to find other alternative. But if there are no other alternative, it is okay to use the medicine. Based on the topic production in Islam, people are aware of the halal issue of COVID-19 vaccines ingredients. This issue had been sparked a lot of speculation during the pandemic. Parents in Malaysia are concerned about the halal status of vaccine ingredients because they believe that vaccines contain DNA, making them haram since Muslims are generally not allowed to consume products derived from porcine including medicines. Given that the majority of people in Malaysia are Muslims, this issue is co extremely concerning. Malay Muslim parents top concern is halal vaccination, but vaccine safety was also cited as the top issue by Chinese and Indian parents. Communities must therefore be informed about vaccinations and private to reliable sources of information, taking into account current religious doctrine and contentious issues. However, certain elements added during the production of a vaccine may cause and users to express concern. Regarding the acceptance of vaccines, many scholars and authorities from Middle Eastern nations have accepted vaccines made with impure materials like gelatin of porcine origin. As long as the impure substance is completely transformed and changed into a new substance that is distinct from its origin, the vaccines are safe for consumption. In contrast to other nations, Malaysia's current fatwa does not have sufficient evidence to support its acceptance of vaccines containing impure substances. According to the current fatwa in Malaysia, vaccines made from sources of porcine origin are not permitted except when absolutely necessary alternative vaccines free of porcine derivative are used first. All Muslims, not just parents, should be aware that the COVID-19 vaccine does not contain gelatin or any parts of animals such as pigs. Alcohol or ethanol also is not present in any products made by these vaccines such as in Sinovac, AstraZeneca or Pfizer. Muslim scholars generally agree that using medications and vaccinations to treat COVID-19 is acceptable in order to prevent disease. Role of Jakim uh, In the medical profession, halal production refer to the use of Islamic principle and rules in the manufacture, processing and distribution of medicine, medical equipment and other healthcare related items. Jakim participation in halal manufacturing in the medical profession may include uh, many works. First, uh, certification and auditing. Jakim developed uh, rules and criteria for medical product halal certification. They may perform audits and inspection of production sites to ensure that uh, this requirement uh, follow from uh, the procurement uh, of component through the final phase of manufacture. This procedure assures that the do that the goods uh, fit to the halal criteria. Second, uh, halal uh, certification accredi accreditation. Jakim may accredit uh, and authorize halal certificate who have uh, the skill and experience to examine and certify medical item as halal. This uh, certifying uh, bodies may collaborate uh, closely with medical enterprise to guarantee that their production producer adhere to Islamic teaching. Last, uh, verification of halal compliance. Jakim may conduct audits and inspection of vaccine production facilities. So, for the conclusion, halal production in the medical field follows Islamic principles and guidelines. It involves searching, searching ingredients from certified suppliers and ensuring manufacturing process aligned 
with Islamic guidelines. Jakim, which is Malaysia's Department of Islamic Development, plays a vital role in certifying the halal status of medical items, including vaccines. Concern have been raised about vaccine ingredients, but there is a consensus that Muslims can use non-halal medications when necessary. Halal production promotes trust, vaccine acceptance, and public health while meeting the religious and ethical needs of Muslims. Islamic wealth management, also known as Sharia compliant finance, follows ethical principles and prohibits interest-based transactions. It ensures that investments in halal medical items like vaccine align with Islamic guidelines by scrutinizing companies, halal status, and manufacturing processes. It promotes trust, acceptance, and public health. Islamic wealth management offers services such as Islamic banking, insurance, investment funds, and asset management, catering to Muslims' financial needs while adhering to their religious belief. It plays a vital role in managing wealth in line with Islamic principles, including in the medical fields of halal production.